Hello and welcome to another lesson in our school management system creation. In this lesson, we're going to start working on the teacher's image data. So straightforward, let's move right into it. Let's just go to the, teach, the, the teacher's details sheet and then number the ID column so that when we when making references, it will be easy for us to locate and then go ahead. Good. So we have 50 teachers code with that. Now we're going to make reference with the name, the gender, date of birth, and all. We're going to make reference to the teachers, um, what do you call it, details sheet. This is a teacher's details sheet. So we're going to make reference to the teachers MS data rather here. Yeah. So let's take note of that. So we're going to click here with a serial number and let's type equal to. But then before we do that, why don't we just... Uh, let me just check this and then confirm. Okay. Good. It's that, that is that. Let's just try formatting this right. Just to make it look good. It, it's just to. Gosh. The last teacher. Let's give it some nice background color, right? I think that should make things a little nice. Let's just. Okay. We have already formatted the text into it. So let me just check. Good, it's working like that. Good. So now let's just check on the, the student, uh, the teacher's data. We're going to make a reference from here to the, the teacher's MS data. So the serial number type equal to. Now let's go to the teacher's details and then click on the ID. Press enter. So we're going to double click to auto fill. Oh God. So you just have to drag it to the last students if it's not to the last teacher if it's not working. Good. So we come to the name. Yes, equal to. Let's just go to the. Okay, let's just check on something. Let me just undo this and see. Good. So let me try checking out this and see now. Okay. Yes. So the name is there. Let me confirm something again. Teachers details. Gender date of birth. No, it's not, it's not going to work like it's not in sorry, it's not in order, so it wouldn't work. We can only get it up to the name. So, with the gender, let me just confirm. No, the gender is not anywhere here. So, let's just um, double click to autofill now and see. Okay, it's not, so let's just drag it to the last teacher. Good. So, let's come to the registered number. Let's type equal to. And then we come to the teacher's details. Let's locate the registered number column. This is it. Enter. So double click to see if you can autofill. Good. This is working now. When we come to staff ID, let's type equal to. Come to teacher's details. Staff ID is here. So let's double click to autofill. Good. Let's come to rank equal to teacher's details. Rank. to two and then click on this double click then qualification go to teachers details with the qualification we're going to go straight for the professional qualification so let's take note of that so this is it professional qualification so we go with this double click to auto fill SSF number, so equal to teacher's details. Let's check that ball. This is it. Snip ID. Make reference. Double click to autofill. Contact number is equal to. So you can just go there and then uh, teachers details. So let's look for contact. So we have it here. And let's refer it to this. And date of first appointment. Teachers details. First appointment dates.
this is it so double click to autofill and then finally we have signature column we're going to leave it like that so control is just to save good so we are done with this so now we're going to just enter the formula here for this and um, easy counting but before we do that let's just um, select the various cells and then we go to cell style let's choose head in here so we have this here so let's just go ahead and then get the male female and then total here for us so with the male we're going to type equal to then count if which range we're going to go for the gender range count if oh gosh let me just check here and see okay so we need the gender at least here but then since that is not happening we have to get them enter that here it's it wouldn't do anything so let's just click this and enter that column as early as possible as quickly as possible or that so let me just take it that way yeah um okay let me just check on teachers details sheet and see Good. Let's go back to the student, the teachers, and this data. We're going to work, work, work that out there. So let's just add, sorry, let's add another column for gender. So let's just come this way, right click here and insert another column. Let's just resize it a bit. So let's just type here gender. We are good to go with this. So we have to go and make reference to that as well. So, um, Source have been changed, right? So let us just go back and make reference. So let's go to the okay to do that. Let's just come. Sorry, let's come in here and type a call sign. Let's go to teachers details. Let's look at gender here and then figure that out. Like that. So Auto fail, so we can now do our calculation here. So we're going to use this range J2 down to J. The last cell is J51. Take note of that, but it depends upon the number of teachers you are using in your database. There, so count if range J2 down to J51. Then inverted commas is male. Then it close brackets. So just uh, I wouldn't copy and paste equal to. So count if range the same range J two down to J fifty one comma inverted commas female then close your brackets we have one female here good so total this is equal to this plus that name two so that is it so let us go ahead and then check in student details sorry teachers did teachers details here and enter the name of another person and see Karim is a uh, male date of birth staff ID some random numbers registered number some random numbers date of first appointment mm -hmm. SSF number, some random numbers, 
professional qualification let's just choose something like diploma sup one two five contacts so i think that is that we can have all these details there good so let's just go and check the teachers ms data and confirm what we've just entered sorry teachers ms data there we go so we have this so another mail has been added so making it two now as compared to previous that was one so let's go ahead and then just do some reference and that is what to be giving us all the information in our word document so to do that we're going to refer each and every teacher on a rule for the various headings we have created here just here here just here yes here, here here so that's what we're going to do here so let's try to demarcate something to avoid confusion but when you are stressful working out things like this in case not taking you you end up fumbling so let's just format the what do you call it uh, the signature column just to demarcate you understand what i'm talking about so when and um, auto feeling and all that it wouldn't uh, confuse us because when i was doing it myself from uh, there was a point in a point in time i was a bit confused so I just don't want it to happen to me again. So all the signature column is going to be demarcated like this. Let's show some difference. So you can go ahead and do for all the signature column like that. Just go ahead and do that just to show to demarcate for each and every teacher's column and all that. Okay, now let's start making our reference now. For the first teacher, just type equal to here. Then let's go for the first teacher the serial number press this now we're going to drag horizontally to autofill for the rest of the information so i'm going to take it like this up to the signature sorry <laughs> this is what i'm talking about so to this we've gotten out of the first teacher good fulfillment sign blah 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 all the information everything is there so we're going to go ahead and get out of the second teacher So we enter it this way, a call to that is teacher number two now. So you select two, we go there. Up to that. This is teacher number three. Just go this way. Because we haven't entered anything, that is why it's like that. The fourth teacher. This way is equal to the fifth teacher. It's equal to the sixth teacher now. So I wouldn't do all this. And record or on the video so what, we're going, what is going to happen is this i'll do it up to some level now leave the rest for you to complete so 
So that is what is going to happen. So I also do my behind the scene here so that I'll be able to complete the tutorials easily. So we go to the seventh teacher. Let's confirm here. Yeah, seventh teacher. Seventh teacher. Go to eighth teacher. So as you can see, what is happening? So you're going to do the same thing for all the teachers, or the number of teachers you have assigned your system to. So you do that. I will just end on ten or the tenth teacher. So this is it. So this is. I'm not going for the ninth teacher. Enter. And you go ahead and drag to auto flow horizontally. And you go for the tenth teacher. Sorry, go to the tenth teacher. So you're going to come drag and then auto flow. To the, to the signature and so let's just control s to save now i'll end it here and leave the rest for you to complete for the number of teachers you are assigning your system to so thank you very much for watching and then see you in the next tutorial bye